I'm on field trip. This is my first real event or field trip, as Moore calls it. Going to go live in a few minutes over here, actually 29 minutes. In the meantime, I'd like to show you my plan. This is what I have before I go live. You go live by clicking on it and then just kind of moving it pressuring your mouse on it and moving it to the right. So this is what I have so far. I've got slides. They need to be in PDF forms before you add them. So I've got my slides here. Um, I've added a poll. I wasn't able to add questions, so just one question. I hope that's going to work out somehow. Didn't add an image. I did add a video. Now if you look on the uh, left here, you'll be able to see what I have. So I've got a video here and if I scroll down I'll be able to get the video and the slides as soon as I click on the video which is over here. When I click on it... Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch so, and today I'm going to show you what we're going to do in week okay, four Okay, that's just a TESOL preview. Online, I haven't gone live yet but I can preview so my lessons into... and the slides and of course, um, okay, that's the faces. I can also screen share, and this is how it's done. I've got the whole screen. Okay, that's one possibility. Application window or Chrome tab, since I'm using Chrome. All right, let's stop that. Right now, it's only going to be a presenter mode. That's how it works with uh, Field Trip, and then you divide the class into uh, groups. Right now, I see that I've got two attendees. I can go to the attendance over here and see who's available. There are two of them right now. One is live, and the other one is uh, offline, as you can see. So, um, I don't know. So, actually, one has uh, the viewer open. That's the plan on the left here. On the right, I've got inbox. This is where I'll be able to get messages from uh, the class. I'll be able to ask them questions. They'll be able to respond here. This is the communication. It's pending um, right now. There's nothing there because the class hasn't gone live, but it's called inbox. Okay, that's what they call that. Let's go back to the plan and notice I'm, I can get full cam as well. So there I am in full cam. I can also go back to the circle, which is over there, so that when you have your PowerPoint, as you noticed before, the circle will still be there unless you get rid of that as well. Um, all right, so it says two viewers are waiting. We've got seven minutes, which is enough, but I like to be uh, before time. So there are the slides okay, of the presentation. And that's it. This is Field Trip, and um, it feels really good. It's wonderful for um, schools or private classes, private tutoring, or family events, if um, that's possible, uh, remotely, so that uh, you can have teaming up. The idea, of course, is to present whatever you're presenting in such a way that nobody uh, really uh, interferes, and they're all paying attention, supposedly, and then having team collaboration where everybody can discuss the content and you can give uh, assignments, tasks, and so on. So since um, TESOL, which is uh, teaching English to speakers of other languages, is a collaborative course, I'm going to try to get the participants, if we have enough of them. Uh, in this case, uh, we don't seem to have enough. But we'll see. We still have time to go. So I'm looking forward to that. And that's the beginning. I'm going to be recording using Camtasia, just like I am right now, just to make sure that the recording does come up. wanted to um, also show you how you can mute. Let me unmute. But um, this is how it's done. It's coming back. You click on the... Um, it's over here, okay? So I click on my mic and then I can turn it off or I can also click on the video, but I need to click on it in order to do this. I can't do it from this area. Okay, this is also a feature to um, expand the class. 
that's also an option. Okay, so I've got everything turned off. I see that I have, I included myself. I also opened a room on my iPad just to see what it looks like. I hope it's not going to interfere since I'm on the iPad, but it could. If it does, I'll just turn it off. But I'm just getting ready and I see that it says watching live. Now does that, oh, I guess that Nellie's <laughs> Okay, so this person is watching live. I can also go at the top here on the left if I hover my mouse over the uh, A, N, N, M, W or E, A. Under the E, A it says that this person is offline. Under um, A it says um, that this person is watching, which means that the link is uh, there and they're on the link. It's open for them. This one is Nellie's watching because the link is open. And on the link, it says waiting for lesson to start. So I'm wondering about the off. What does it mean that this person is offline? That could be. And um, I see that MW is also the link is there and the browser is open. Okay, so let me see if there's anything else I'd like to show you here before the meeting starts. I'm going to include this um, in the meeting, so it should be interesting to have um, everything there. So as I said, I'm using Camtasia this time and not Screencast-O-Matic to record this session. So uh, now I know what the offline means. It just means that the person had the link open and they close the link. They Their browser could be open and they could be online, but they close the link. So the link is closed. They'll have to reopen it if they want to come into class. That's what I did for myself. That's why it says offline. Notice that these are grouped. Okay, right now there are three viewers and um, this is what it'll look like. There's the attendance. If I click on it, I get a list of uh, people. Notice that the offline people are still listed even though they are, well, at least their link is completely closed. So I'm not sure if this is a good thing, but let's wait and see how it goes. If Hi, everybody, and welcome to Field Trip. This is a s'more. I don't know if you're familiar with s'more, but um, if you are, you probably know that they have amazing newsletters and uh, a great way for students and teachers and schools and other organizations to collaborate. So uh, you can try out Field Trip as well and see what it's like with your students. What's nice about it is that you get presentations um, and then and only then can participants actually say hello and so on and take part. So um, I see greats, I see reactions. Okay, so I'm um, recording this on Camtasia too, so you'll get uh, everything that I see here as well. So you can, I believe, ask questions as we go. So uh, you can start with the first question. So feel free to do that so I can see your questions as we go. That's basically all you can do, and I'll try to respond. All right, so let's um, get started with a poll. Okay, so there's um, a poll. You can see the colors are absolutely amazing. So you can respond to that. And notice the polls don't have uh, yes, no, and things like that. Um, so actually you just ask a question and um, it's a kind of quiz and that's uh, the response so I'm looking um, forward to seeing that so I see that one viewer has seen the poll and the others um, maybe have not so give you a chance to uh, get that going for you So can you see and hear me? All right. So um, can you hear and see me? If you didn't before, you should be able to now. So 
So these are prompts that are available there and um, I click on them and this is what um, I will see and you'll see this later on in the recording of what I see so I'm fine thank you <laughs> okay that's great okay so this is a real classroom environment um, with teachers having full control and and this came as a result of teachers having lots of issues with zoom and students especially young learners but even university uh, students um, messing everything up and causing the teachers to go away crying <laughs> They were misbehaving. Okay, so I'm fine. Okay, I'm waiting for other replies. I see that some of you may have some um, logging issues. I don't know if you're using Safari, but the best uh, for this right now is Chrome. So if you're using Chrome, you should be fine. If you're not, you may be having some problems. So I see that... Um, We'll talk about that later. I'm fine. I am just fine. Thank you for asking. Okay, so I see it's called an inbox. You'll see what it looks like later on. I can't show you. And um, I can also respond and acknowledge that I've seen that. Okay, so the teachers can respond one at a time. Uh, participants don't see each other's uh, responses at this time. So if you have any questions, feel free to add them. Let me just know if you can hear me. That's the last question that I'm going to ask. So uh, can you hear me? That's for now. Oh, you didn't see the poll. Hmm. Oh, maybe the poll disappeared. Let me, um, I see three people have seen the poll. And it's still going round and round. Still waiting to know if you hear me or not. Okay, so let me try the poll again. Okay, so feel free to, let's see, we can also have breaks, by the way, which is a great thing. Sometimes kids need breaks, so you have breaks in the middle, they go to the washroom, or if somebody asks, can we have a break, they go to the washroom and they come back. This is it for young learners, but also for, I guess, seniors. Okay, I still see that only three of you have seen this for some reason. Okay, I'm going to stop the poll. Okay, so I've stopped the poll. And let me go on with um, the rest. Okay. Oh, I see A cannot see. All right. Oh, I see someone has buffering. Okay, that's um, Minnie. You've got some buffering issues. Maybe that's why you couldn't see it. I don't know what you're using. You should be using Chrome for now. That's um, the best. Okay, so I'm going to finish with a prompt and go on with the um, presentation. All right, so we're in week three, which is absolutely amazing. Let me open my camera. All right, so you'll see me in the bubble there. Okay, see if you can ask questions. If you don't see the poll, don't worry about it. It's gone now. It's not there anymore. Or it's there and I can't get rid of it. There, now it's gone.
So week four uh, is a little bit different from week three. In week three, you only had two, actually, um, tasks, the syllabus and the lesson plan. But because it was collaborative, uh, it took you a long time, which is one of the um, downfalls of collaboration when it comes to um, teamwork. Sometimes it makes it more difficult, but sometimes it's very supportive. So there are um, two sides to the coin there. The syllabus and the final project, uh, just to make sure that everybody um, is on the same page, is a course. You're going to give a course. So you're preparing the course, a real course to learners of English. It's not teaching teachers how to teach, but it's teaching learners whose native language is not English. So it's to speakers of other languages or English as a foreign or second language. You're going to teach English, which is what you do. You're English teachers. <laughs> so it only makes sense that um, you're going to teach a course and develop the course. Now you can develop the course uh, on your own with the team or both with the team support and on your own. Week four, you're going to create activities, vocabulary, grammar, reading, and writing. You've done um, speaking before. So let's take a look at what's next. Now, if I could ask you, how many of you are interested in having an individual course as well as a collaborative course? If you could just let me know, yes or no. Individual or collaborative or both. Okay, there's the question. Hope you can see that. It might be buffering. Oh, you can't see the poll yet because it says the one person can. Okay, let's see if it comes up. Okay, so the question is um, for you to think about what you'd like. Okay, if you can't see... Okay, so I see that someone said uh, both. That's A. So I presume that's Anna from what I can see here. And um, Anna also said that she cannot see the poll. So just answer. If you can't see the poll, then just answer. Okay, so I see Anna says both. Okay, let's continue. This is not really an interactive. The interaction will come later. So something to think about. In week four, you'll also have a chance to communicate with your team. There is a discussion form just like in week three. There's one in week four. You'll be able to use these live sessions that are completely free. You'll have to include both asynchronous, which means that you'll be using Moodle or um, Canvas. At least that's the choice so far. Maybe Schoology. These are free, completely free with recordings. So Merit Hub, you can have unlimited time, well, unlimited, up to, I think, eight hours or something, a whole day. And you can have uh, as many participants as you want, but it's completely free with the recordings. Jitsi, you can find under your profile, and it's also completely free. Zoom is limited to numbers and to time, so you can't, I think, go over 40 minutes. So you might want to think about that. 
Last week, I also mentioned activities that you'll be including in your courses. And these are some of them. You don't have to use all of them. You might use one or two or, well, if you like, you can use them all. And um, there is these. H5P is available on the Moodle. And remember to uh, also have engaging presentations for each lesson, each section of your course. And you can use these for your um, presentations, presenting the content. And you can create images and so on using these. And remember to keep track because the final project has two parts. One is the actual course that you've developed and the other one is um, the process and how you're doing. So you're going to also share feedback using these tools. Okay, so that's basically um, the presentation that I wanted to share with you. Right now, we're going to go to the, the course. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to also go to section four of the course. I'll be able to see you there. So you should be able to see the screen, but if, even if you don't see the screen, I'll be able to see you. And I see that Tiana is uh, there, Minnie is there, and I'm there. But I don't see Anna, so I'm waiting for Anna to come in. Okay, I'll wait for Anna and I stop the screen sharing. Well, now I'm screen sharing the actual class that you can see it. So I see that Victoria joined us. Hi, Victoria. That's great. And you're 11 minutes behind. See, I can also see if anyone is lagging, if their computer is a bit slow. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm there. You can also see the screen sharing now. And um, let's see if there are any questions. I'm sorry, I must log out from... Sev oh, you have too many... Um, yeah, this may be taking too much bandwidth. So it's always a good idea not to have too many... I'm going to close mine too. Too many browser windows open. Uh, Nic Nicole? I see you, Nicole. And everything seems to be fine with um, your connection. I only mentioned Victoria because... Um, her connection is behind. Okay, so the participants that are here now, Anna, Minnie, Nicole, and Victoria. Okay, that's great. So we'll have uh, two rooms in a minute. I'm going to break um, the class up so you can communicate with one another. I don't know. That's a good question, Nicole. Are you using Chrome? I can also respond with uh, smileys. I don't, oh, you mean why can't I see? I only see the letter N uh, because your uh, webcam is not open yet. Okay, so let me um, go back and, um, 
and check on you guys to see if you're there. So let's see who's... Um, I still only see three, but let me just uh, check that. So can you go? Nicole, you see that I only have three. Who do you see? I see, I don't know if you can see what I see though. Um, oh, maybe you can because before because I was screen sharing. No, there are four participants, four viewers. Oh, maybe, I uh, know, it doesn't include me though. Okay, so let me stop screen sharing and break you into teams. So um, let me do that now. Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you what we're going to do in week four of TESOL Online, a free online course. So let me go into week four. This is um, TESOL Online, and let me scroll down so that I can get into section four. Now there are three sections in section four. There is uh, teaching vocabulary and grammar. That's section one. Section two is practical language activities. And the final section of week four is testing in the classroom. Of course, you're getting everything ready for your final project, which is a course, whether an individual team course or both individual and team. It's up to you. So let's go into teaching vocabulary. Under teaching vocabulary, there is teamwork, where you'll be able to work with your team, and a vocabulary lesson activity, as well as a grammar lesson activity that's down here below. This is what you submit, two activities, one on vocabulary and one on grammar. And this is how you'll be doing it. You'll create a PowerPoint or Google presentation. You'll teach a lesson and demonstrate how you teach the lesson using Zoom, Google Me, Jitsi, or any other live online class. You can also use Flipgrid, Vimeo, or Screencast-O-Matic to teach your lesson. It's up to you how you teach that lesson but you're going to imagine that you've got a real audience. For your lesson, you're going to create a lesson plan. So think about what you're going to do as you do it. You don't have to show the lesson plan, but have something planned. You're going to use engaging activities, whether on Vokey, Toontastic, Quizzes, Quizlet, Vokey, or Kahoot. So make sure that you plan ahead 
and decide what you're going to use to teach your vocabulary lesson. Now remember, you're not talking about, you're actually teaching an audience. With a grammar, it's exactly the same thing, but you'll be teaching grammar to your students. It could be any grammatical point. It's up to you. Make the lessons as long as you wish. That's up to you. But make sure that you record everything and upload it to YouTube, and you'll be sharing the link of your recording. That's in section one of week four. In section two of week four, practical language activities, you're going to work with your team, of course, and you're going to teach a reading activity using the same method. And then you'll be teaching a writing lesson. That's in section two. In section three of week four, you'll be discussing assessment and testing. You'll need to create a rubric for your course so that you'll be able to assess your students. And here is the course evaluation rubric. There's a sample of one that you'll be able to use. One team will create a course evaluation rubric added to Google Docs and then you'll be adding the elements. If you want to know more about evaluation rubrics, there are lots of rubrics online that you can find. And feel free to share them under Team Work. All the links that you have. And that's it. Looking forward to seeing your input for week four of this four week course. Thank oh. you for watching. Okay, so I think that that should be off now. Uh, let me just make sure that um, the video is gone. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into groups. Okay, so um, let me take you to what's called spaces. Sorry about that. I, um, I had to cough. Okay, so spaces. Spaces is where you get teamed up. So um, I'm going to ask you a question. What are you? Well, I'll let you view the question later on. Duration, I'll give you, um, let's see, I'll give you, um, I think, 15 minutes. You might want more. Okay, so right now you're going to be divided into teams. So there we go. Okay, so now you're in teams, supposedly. Not anymore. No need to go. That was just to see if... Um, we had any more people there and we only had the three yes Nicole it was I was thinking about this environment not the Moodle so you're right there were only three including myself okay so um, what are you planning for your course you're going to be discussing this with your team let me uh, put you in a team I don't know about uh, Minnie because Minnie is buffering for some reason. She's having problems. I'll add her anyways, just in case she manages. Okay, so now you're in a team and you should be able to turn on your cameras and turn on your mics and speak away. So this is freedom where other people in class will not be able to hear you or see you. You'll only be with your team. So it's very safe. And it's not being recorded. It's only you. 
and whatever you want to discuss. Okay, so you should be, I see that, um, okay, so let me see how you're doing. It's buffering. Okay, so how does it feel? Oh, you look great. Mm -hmm. I love the, um, the circle, right? Okay, so as I said, can you hear me now? Because now you can speak. You just need to turn your mics on. I see two of you, Nellie, and both of you are talking at the same time, which how, I'm not sure how that's happening. How, how can you see two of me? Well, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, now I don't. Okay, now it's just one of you. Thank you. I think I got scared. I thought maybe I was being cloned. It, I was being cloned. It, 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 it was a little scary because you were talking up and you were talking down there and you're wearing the same clothes. <laughs> So why you expected me to be actually two different people wearing two different? <laughs> that I think been... that would have been a even. <laughs> okay, so what's nice here is that you have a chance to talk. The teacher can come in and kind of make sure that you're on topic and that you're not goofing off. But you can goof off too, and that's the whole point. Um, so uh, you can discuss it, and um, when you're ready, we'll come Minnie. back. Yes, we can, Minnie. Oh, okay. It's loading. Oh, many. Yeah, yes. we could hear you. We just can't see you yet. <clears throat> so I think I think what's loading, Minnie, is your video, and that's okay. You don't have to use it. I think videos take a lot more bandwidth, anyways, and that might be problematic. Exactly. Okay, so go ahead. I'll just leave you so you feel comfortable. Notice all these spaces. You're now in a space together. Uh, are private, completely private. Okay, only the teacher can actually come in. So let me just leave if I can. <laughs> you can. <better. laughs> and, and well, you don't have to. Yeah, and, no, but I wanted, Nelly, you, I, I wanted you to have some privacy. <laughs> I see that you have 11 minutes remaining. You can set how much time yeah. for this space, right? Okay. That's right. Okay, so ignore me. I'll try to figure out how to get out of here. I think if I had another room, it'd be easier. Because these aren't really breakout rooms. They're spaces, which is kind of different. Okay, so go ahead. Ignore me. Okay. Nicole, I'm sorry, I'm not in a good condition. Tomorrow I've got vaccination, AstraZeneca, so mm -hmm. this is my problem for today. Okay, so uh, since they're in their spaces and I'm not there, I can continue speaking because I, I presume nobody will hear me. In any case, um, these are the different spaces. You can have breaks for your space, quick um, end break. Okay, there, I've just ended the break. Let's go back here. And um, you can also have your own break. Space with uh, group activities. Notice uh, there are different things that you can have in your breaks. Okay, could be questions or various activities. And I've given the teams a little bit of time and I left so they could have some privacy. And the way you leave is you simply go to the presentation. If you want to go back, you simply click on it. Notice uh, there's no one here, but just to show you what it's like. Okay, so these people are offline, so they're not here. 
seems to me that um, it's taking a lot of bandwidth and I'm wondering about that if it's because of the videos or maybe not. I see there's one participant here who is 12 minutes behind the live buffering, which is a lot. And I'm wondering if this is something that is good for the teacher to know, but I'm wondering if it's possible to um, fix that in any way. Okay, so um, let's go back to my plan. See if I've done everything. I've gone through the PowerPoint presentation, which I added as the PDF file. I went through the video. I did some prompts. Didn't add an image, but maybe I should. I did a poll, and uh, maybe I should add an image over here from my computer. So uh, what image should I add? Okay, let's add Google Docs. And see if I can... Okay, so it's coming up. Something went wrong. Okay, with the image. Didn't seem... To, maybe it's too big. That could be a problem. Yeah, it's um, it's not coming up for some reason. Let me try again and see if I can get it to come up. Let me try this one. Maybe it was a wrong um, image. I don't know if it's PG or JPEG or yeah. Okay, so that's not happening. Okay, that's fine section. I can add a section, give it a name to my plan. Okay, so I think I've done everything. See if there are any comments here. Okay, that was the last comment. Comments are at the top. Notice you, you can respond to them while you're waiting for the teams to continue working. And you can also finish at any time. Okay, so I'm in this space. I could go back to the presentation. Okay, so here I'm back at the presentation. And it's reminding me that I'm live also ask a question. There's a show me prompt. I wonder what that take a picture of. Okay. Take a picture. That's nice. A picture of your desk. How's that? That should be interesting take a picture. How would they take a picture of their desk with their phones? Maybe. Okay, let's do that. Ask for it. Okay. That should... Uh, waiting for replies. Okay, the buffering is really confusing, I think. Okay, so you can ask different things. Yes, no. Okay, let's try yes, no. Um, Okay, how is the space for you? Okay, and I think that uh, we're ready to go. How is the space for you? Okay, so there are two questions here. What does it say one person viewed it when it's not even up? 
Nicole is confused. All right. You, okay, Nicole, I saw that you sent me a message that you're confused. So here I am. Yeah. How so can I help? I, <laughs> this is like a genie. Yeah, a genie came coming back. Yes. Well, you, we were Anna and I were talking up on the top together, but then we saw you in that main screen, and it looked like you were talking and giving us information. Um, and so, and now you're on the top again. So we're just a little confused oh, if we're missing top? something in that. Screen. Okay, and right now, or is, that a is it better now? Okay, yes. Now, now we you're are not all five together. Now, now I'm one now, person, and everything is okay. Yeah. All right. So, yes. okay. So we the way I go back, you'll see this in the video, is uh, I go back mm -hmm. to presentation. But do you have a question before I go? No, that was the question. Okay. We just great. We're sure, supposed Thank to you. be back with you talking in the okay. main screen. Thanks. Okay. So notice if you're adding prompts, everybody will see the prompt. And that's kind of confusing. So we should get rid of the prompts. There we go. Okay, so as long as there aren't any prompts, nobody should be bothered. Okay, so we've got another minute, I think. Let me see how they're doing. Yes. Are you in the middle of something or how much time do you need for okay, your well, space? No, you're talking about something down below about adding prompts or something like that. And you heard that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But so. So we can't get into that. We're still up on the top. Okay. Yes, you are. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, is there a, a platform for teacher and students interactive? You know, can, for example, can play games together or? Um, yes, of course. Uh, you know, that's the space. Interactive. Yeah, the space is the... Um, is the place to be. So if, if you're tutoring, you would go into that space. So that there's no chance that a troll or, or a hacker or anyone would disturb your space. If, Anna, you're working with um, older adults, this is very, very safe for them. They can say anything, and it's not going to be recorded unless they record each other. That's, you know. But otherwise, it's going to be completely safe, and I'm not sure if they can record. And then um, if you're, you know, doing small group tutoring, or if you've got a big class and you want to divide the class, whether you're using a blended or hybrid format or whether you're using face-to-face, -face, you could still divide the class through this um, space. So I think, I, I think Victoria, Victoria, no, it says offline. Yeah, Victoria has a lag. That's huge. And I think this is important if, if um, you know, students are having connectivity issues and they're really lagging behind. You would see this and it wouldn't just be an excuse. You know, I, I, I was there, but I couldn't see anything because um, my computer was really slow and you would get you would have proof that it was, you know, they wouldn't be making excuses. You could also do quizzes, you know, um, Okay. that are completely private if you want to, you know, test speak, spoken English or other activities, you could do that in these small spaces, one-on-one -on -one with a student. So let's say um, you divide the groups into one-on-one. -on -one. For example, I'll put Anna here. Let me see if I can drop you. And I'll drop uh, Nicole there and Victoria. Let's see, and Minnie I'll put here. Okay, so that means um, there, Nicole, it's just you and I. 
So yeah, we could have a private, yeah, yeah we could have when nobody oh. in class, <laughs> and they would be working on whatever they're working on, you know, oh. or they could so be you... taking a break and I'll give you your one-on-one, -on -one, you know, care. Uh -huh. So you took me out or you put me in a different space? Yeah, I took you out. You can't be in two places at the same okay, time. Okay, okay. So they're still okay, so they're still working. Either in their they're space working together. exactly. They could be working in their spaces. Okay. And and what I could also do is I could uh, take everybody out and put everybody, you know, in different spaces. Okay, so now we're back with everybody and okay. I took Victoria out. So you could play around with that and you'll see what it's like um, in the video where everyone now I could also, you know, if somebody misbehaves, for example, Nicole, I, I could leave you by yourself. Let's say you want to work mm -hmm. on your own. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd like to work on my own. I, you know, they're bullying me. I don't know, whatever, you know, with younger learners. or I don't feel comfortable with this guy, you know, if they're older um, university right. students. I'd like to work alone and then I could just check up on you and see how you're doing and you're doing your work. So this is basically, um, as I said, it's an answer to Zoom, which is not very school-like, um, to allow you to work. And it's not just a lecture, you give a lecture right. for, I don't know, for 15, 20, whatever minutes, and then it's work time with the teacher there. Okay. Nice thing is that you could ask for help. So, like you, you the, the student will know. Okay, you know, I'm going to go to check on someone else. You continue working. If you need me, ask ask for help, and then you could come. You you have the option of then joining this this space to help me. Yeah. Okay. It's it's like you know, if okay. you've got a huge class, um, you can't you can go from one person to the other, but still other people are going to hear what you're saying. You, you can't just put people in different rooms. <laughs> you don't have the facility, but here you can actually put people in different rooms. Okay. Okay. So I'll okay. take you back. Okay. So I brought Nicole back. Um, My okay, so I brought memories. Nicole back. Nicole was misbehaving, so uh, we had a little chat. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> uh, but uh, I should say that where, if you haven't got where were you? Camera, then you don't know who is speaking. You know? okay. What do you mean? So, because I can see only three cameras, no, people with cameras, and two without. So, um, somebody who hasn't got a camera is speaking. Yeah, no, Victoria. Ah, I see what you mean. Well, um, actually, Minnie, you put something black there, right? Yes, it's you something covered. black in case of... No, I think no, I didn't. There is I, oh, you I tried didn't? To turn you... on my camera. Oh, you turned it off and it's black because I see it Victoria... I don't know. ...has a green. Okay, now I see you, Minnie. Okay, now I see you have yeah, another yeah. color. Okay, so now you should... Okay. Uh, Minnie, do you want to speak? So maybe Anna can see you speaking. Yeah, we are talking a little bit. You can't uh, see who's talking. That's a good point, Anna. They need to have their cameras on. And it shouldn't be a problem. Depends on... on yeah, I, I can, think I... I don't know because... I'll figure out oh, what the problem is. Yeah, but it shouldn't be a problem, Anna. I don't think you have to have that... It, it could be with, with China, there could be a problem right now uh, because of the location. I don't know where the servers are. That could oh. be a problem. But it shouldn't be a problem in the future. This is still, um, you know, being improved all the time. So you can use it for free. I'm not Nelly, I, I, have a, oh, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. I, I have a Yeah, on the... I see the, the five circles and up on the top right, I see something that says, do not disturb. And I have it switched off. What, what does that mean when you switch that on? What is Do not disturb. It? Where do you see do, do not, not disturb? disturb. What is oh, that? someone just joined mm -hmm. us. Ah. Oh, Anna. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are not there. <laughs> what happened, Anna? <laughs> ah, okay. So then you... She, if she clicked on the do not disturb, yeah. Nelly, then she goes away, and then you come back. 
Ah, okay. So that would be a good thing, Nellie, for them if they need to go to the bathroom <laughs> exactly. or something like that. <laughs> but you can also, the teacher, yeah. And you know not to call on them. That's okay. right. That's right. Or maybe they've got a call okay. from someone else or, you know, they're they're busy or whatever. But if they're busy for too long, right. they don't give you a reason why they're busy. It could be. But, you know, Anna, try to go somewhere else. See if you can go to another browser okay. and see what happens. Oh, I've got my dog and he, he wants to go outside, I think. What do you mean? Does he have, does he have a browser? <laughs> because he's very nervous. Just stay in no, can you go somewhere else? Can you go into, I don't know, Moodle, into the TESOL course? Oh, uh, That's okay, he up. can bark. That's fine. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you know, my father, I'll never forget it. We, uh, we had this dog that was, the neighbors were complaining. We lived in an apartment, you know, a long time ago. And uh, the neighbors were complaining that every time the postman came, the dog would bark like crazy and the, the dog just turned. So I told my father, I said, listen, the neighbors are really angry at the dog and, and I don't know what to do. He says, well, just tell them that that's what dogs do. They bark. Shut up. No. So, you know, I, I said, I can't tell them that. <laughs> you cannot understand the English, I think. <laughs> okay. In any case, um, Anna, let me put you. Okay. So I put Anna somewhere else. Okay. So now Anna... Because your dog is barking, I put you in another room by yourself <laughs> with your dog so no one else could hear the dog. That's, uh, that's one solution. Okay, so let me bring you back. Okay, so I see um, Nicole, not Nicole, the Victoria. Okay, Victoria, the V, has... Um, is offline, okay, which offline means that um, they're not, the link is not open. Okay, so I see that her her circle is a different color, so yeah. then that tells you that she's so not if there. We, let me see. Yeah, she's not there. Okay, so let's go back. Um, we can go back online. now. Okay, we're going to finish. Okay, hold to finish. Everything is hold to finish. Hold to talk. Okay, there we are. Okay, so now we are back. Okay, now you can't communicate with each other. All you can do right now is um, ask questions or comments for me, and only I will be able to see them. So well, let's see what you can say. Okay, I'm waiting for comments. Okay, so um, Nicole is, um, okay, she raised her hand to let me know that she um, is okay. Any questions? Can someone ask a question? Okay, so I'm going to ask you questions. Okay, so um, are things clear so far? Okay, so are things clear so far? Yeah, whatever comments you add is just for me. Nobody else can see it. So as I said, it's really, really private. Very much unlike Zoom. It's even more private than a regular classroom. So I think this is great for, um, for school and for maybe private tutoring. Yeah, from talking, disturbing, and uh, making teachers cry. There were a lot of teachers that um, had very bad experiences with the lockdowns in many parts of the world. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to ask you the final question. Let me stop this one. 
I see two responded. Okay, the final question is, how was it? Okay, so how was it? Do you have any questions? Okay, so there it is. I'm going to ask you. And if you write anything, I'll be, it'll pop up for me. Oh, I see it's loading. Many your question is load your comment is loading. This really requires the teacher to respond right away or you know, which makes it um very supportive for students who want to get comments. So no question, dog is out of the room. <laughs> okay, that's great, Anna. I'm glad <laughs> the dog is out of the room. Must be a cute dog from the bark. The dog sounded really cute. Okay, so before you go, there's one more thing. It's called a show prompt. Okay, and the prompt is take a picture of um, anything that you'd like okay so take a photo let's see how that works for you okay so take a picture of anything got what is got you took a picture okay Anna took a picture oh I, I think I saw your picture but then it disappeared oh and I saw it and then I didn't see it okay great Anna I saw an interesting gif okay let's see Oh, there I see you. Okay, I see you're sending me somebody dancing. Say, oh my God. Okay, I got it. Great. Thank you, Anna. And um, Michelle. You need to click on it, Nicole. But I, th I thought I saw your photo. You saw Anna's response? That's great. And it says it's loading, Minnie. My picture is a screenshot. Oh, that was a screenshot? Really? Okay, that's great. Okay, oh. Okay, so thank you everyone. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, please use the support form for questions. Um, as far as the Moodle goes, uh, I hope that you don't have any questions about the Moodle course. I'm going to um, share a link with you to help you um, develop the Moodle course. Okay, very, very basic, but to get you started with the um, activities. How can I share my picture? Anna, you did share your picture. I saw it. There, I see it. <laughs> yes, 
See, if you click on the picture, you get options and you just click on send. There, I just sent one. When, when you click on the, the picture, it has lots of GIFs and you just send it and then I can see it. All right, I highly recommend that you try this um, with your students and let me know how it goes. So I'm going to finish the lesson and we'll see what the recording looks like because I'm recording in two places on Camtasia and uh, through this.